So even as the common man suffers, politicians manage to get away with flouting norms and violating rules. Two ministers of Maharashtra openly violate rules and despite notices being served, no action has been taken against them. Once again, raising the question, is the middle class Indian the easiest target? They are desperately fighting to save their dream homes, which have been declared illegal. But the rules, it seems, are different for the powerful. And when it comes to the political class, errant politicians continue to openly flout the norms. Less than half a kilometre from the disputed Kampakola society, notices have been issued to two Maharashtra ministers for illegal construction in their societies in Verli. But no action against them is questionable. Ask uh, Ajit Pawar, Gopinath Munde, Manik Rao Thakre, Patang Rao Kadam and the rest. What action was taken on their homes uh, in which uh, illegalities were found? Should we start there instead of starting with these people? Yes, sir. Surely you should start with everybody who has broken the law. There should be no discrimination. In the capital, the ruling party has granted Maya a largest. Four bungalows allotted, of which three will be merged into one super bungalow. And a PIL claims unauthorized construction, but her dream home won't be demolished anytime soon. The issue of Kampa Kola compound, I believe, uh, is very different from many, many other cases of corruption. Looking at things in hindsight and saying, okay, this is something which is illegal and now we need to regularize it and we need to go to the court and we need to seek legal options. The long-term permanent solution for this problem across India, I firmly believe, and I hope other panelists will agree on it as well, is to really have a strong regulator in our country. So while the high and mighty will get away, these residents, helplessly trying to save their dream homes, will be made an example of. Bureau Report, Times Now.